Hey guys, this is Jim K and 4YCD and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Okay, you got your AIOC kit. It came in the mail. You've watched TO's video. You've watched my other video. Today we're going to put it together. So in your kit, you're going to have one bag with a 2.5 and one bag with a 3.5 millimeter connector. You're going to have a soldering guide. This is the speed model. And I've said this before, but I want to say it again. If you get one that doesn't look like it's 3D printed all the way, it doesn't matter. All these are is for, for alignment this way, not vertically. And your connectors will go in there just fine and it'll line up like it needs to. In your kit, you'll have an anti-static bag with a AIOC card. And you're going to take the card out and we're going to get it in the guide and get everything lined up. So to do that we're going to pop open our connectors and we're going to unscrew it. We're going to take off the little plastic prophylactic. We don't need that anymore. Let's grab this one. And I've already had this somewhat apart. So we don't need any of that. That can all go away. And we're going to put our connectors in our solder guide and see how it fits in there. It'll fit in there either way, but we want to put it in like this. And what you want to do is we want to have that bottom lug spread just a little bit because that's going to go on the bottom. The board is actually going to go between these two. So before we do that, I'm going to cut a little bit of that off on each of the connectors so that it's going to lay flat and not have those big prongs. You could also just squish it. So I think we'll go with squishing it. Let me get my squisher. All right, I have an official Mark I squisher. And like I said, you could you could cut this off if you wanted to. Um, I don't know how well that'll... We don't want to break the whole thing. I think it's easier just to smash those down. And what those would be for is if you use this connector with a cable, that wraps around the cable as a strain relief. That's what I've got now. All right. That's that one. Let's do the same little surgery on this one. Okay. So both of our connectors have been officially squished and they're flat. So what we're going to do is we're going to put each connector in the board. Each connector only goes in the little solder guide one way. I mean, it'll, it only goes in one hole. You could put it in backwards, but you'll figure it out fast that it's not going to solder that way. So that's what we want like this. And when you put it in, make sure you got it rotated so that the, uh, the ground lug is down and the two hot lugs are facing up. and then spread out those leads. These leads are um, real easy to bend and that's fine, but you just want to be careful that you don't um, tear them off. All right, so there's one. Let's get our other one. And again, we're going to rotate that around so that he's in there like we want him. I'm cheating. All right, perfect. We can kind of straighten those out just a skosh. So that's about what you need. Now we're going to take our board, and here the key is this is going to go on the top. These are going to go on the bottom. The two lugs go over those two solder pads here and here, and then the bottom lug goes across those big old ground pads on the bottom. So you're going to slide the board in, kind of ease it underneath the top two lugs. And then there's a little index right here and one right here that will kind of let your board snap in place. And it, it doesn't matter that it snaps or not. Once you've got this thing in, it pretty much only fits one way. 
And what we want to end up with is what we've got here where I can get solder on each of these lugs and these lugs are over the board, right over the solder pads on the board. Like so. And then on the back side, you can see we could have cut off a whole lot of solder, but there's nothing back there, so it's not really a huge deal. I mean, a whole lot, we could have cut off a whole lot of that lead. Everything from the outside edge of that circle to the end, we don't really need, but that's fine. Either way, I don't want to take the chance on breaking that lug. All right, so now she's good to go. She's in place to solder. So we're going to hook her up and get her soldered. And I'm going to get it mounted in my hands dingus here like so and let me fire up the soldering iron I'll be right back all right so now it's just a matter of heating up our work and dropping a little solder in there and I'm trying to reach around so you can see this on camera Okay, we've got our front two on, and hopefully I didn't make a solder bridge there. So now let's get our let's get our ones on the back because those are the easy ones. All right, other than my somewhat sketchy looking soldering, this looks like it's okay. And I looked at this under a magnifying glass and I don't have a solder bridge. It sure looks like one, but I don't. And then on the back side, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say really try to bend those off because that just is so much extra material. It's kind of a, a pain in the behind to, uh, to get that rascal soldered down because you have all that metal there. However, you know, it's... Uh, it's going to hold on pretty good. And so now we're done with our board and we're going to ease it out of here. And that is a completed AIOC board. So let me grab an HT real quick and let's make sure it fits. All right, I've got my Redivus um, RT52 HT. And as you can see, there are our connectors and this should line up like that perfectly and go all the way in and there it is good to go now one observation i would make about this and this is probably comes down to personal opinion and how you want to do this i think this is a pain in the butt i, don't, I just don't really like this um you could easily buy a cheap cable with the two connectors on it a properly wired kenwood connector and a cable and cut off the USB end of it and just strip back and solder the bare wires on. And then you know you have a factory made cable that's gonna fit and it's a little easier, I feel, to solder a couple little wires down on each connector. You just need to make sure when you do that that you're soldering the right pin from the cable end onto the right pad. So oriented like this, the 3.5 needs to be on top and the 2.5 needs to be on the bottom. But that's it. All right, that's all I've got for this one, guys. Appreciate it. 73, have a great day.